We know Ohio State has been dominating this season in the second quarter, but what about the first quarter? They're hosting Wisconsin next week. I don't think you want to host Wisconsin and get down 10 nothing, for instance. Nathan Baird, is that maybe something to be wondering about with the Buckeyes? Wondering about it, yeah, maybe. I actually think, though, it's a positive thing, what we've seen from them between the first and second quarters. If they weren't the kind of team that they are, those first quarter problems, and we're really nitpicking when we're talking about first quarter problems in games that they win, you know, 34-10 to 10 and 52-3. to 3. But if they weren't as good as they are, those would linger. They would build into something worse. They would be trailing deeper into these games. And what's actually happening is a team is coming out having game plan for, in this case, two weeks at, at full strength, you know, full stamina, full full power, and, and able to come out and maybe catch Ohio State off guard in a couple ways, putting its best foot forward, and Ohio State keeps absorbing that blow and then reversing it and just blowing them out of the stadium. Um, it's happening pretty much every week. They make some kind of adjustment like that. A team will look good for a little while, and then it becomes irrelevant by the second quarter. Um, I think that's actually, in the long run, it's it's a strength of this team, what we're seeing from the first and second quarters. Could you see, Stephen, could you see Wisconsin jumping out on Ohio State next week in Ohio Stadium? No, because I don't think this is a thing. It's it, it's a thing because they're not scoring, but that's the offensive side of the ball. The defense is still doing its job. They're just not capitalizing and putting points on the board because of it. I think what we're seeing is what a great counter-punching boxer looks like. They come out, they see, okay, this is what this team is going to do against us, and by the second quarter, or usually by the third or fourth drive of the game, they figured it out on offense, and you see things start to click in all cylinders where they're scoring. They've had 21 points in the in second quarter in every game but one game this season. So, like, what you're seeing is, okay – this is what they're going to do with us this game, and now we're going to make second quarter adjustments instead of waiting until halftime to make these adjustments, and it's working out in their favor. So, no, I don't think we're going to see next week where Wisconsin jumps out to like a 7- or 10-point lead because the defense is doing its job. It's just the offense who's who needs to see what's happening before they can respond to it. We were talking to somebody with Ohio State today who was explaining the idea to us a little bit of some of these veteran defensive guys the first or second series of a game, they'll diagnose what an offense is doing. Maybe they're blocking them different. Maybe they're trying some different things they weren't expecting and get to the sideline, talk to the coaches, and they'd immediately get that figured out. They do have some veteran guys on this defense. They have a lot of – this is a team that returned practically its whole starting defense. They, I think, do on that side of the ball. If Jonathan Taylor in Wisconsin has something for Ohio State that they're not expecting, I think they have guys who are capable of helping the coaches get that figured out. Nathan, Steven, Doug. More at cleveland.com.